Last minute deals and constant deadlocks, the 2011 Congress was more known for political fighting than political progress. And as Hawaii representatives return home for a brief break, there are new questions whether the 2012 Congress will be any different as the re-election campaigns get underway. And here now with some insight is first term Congresswoman herself, Colleen Hanabusa. Good morning. And thank you so much for joining us. Welcome back home. Thank you. Happy New Year, Mark. Happy New Year to you, too. Let's talk about uh, this political infighting. And a lot of people, the public, they're getting frustrated with Congress. Uh, do you, as a Democrat, accept any responsibility, along with Democrats, for this deadlock? Well, you know, I think that uh, in any situation, there's uh, blame that can be passed along. I think part of the problem, however, is the fact that when the media covers the Congress, it focuses on the parts that are just disagreements because, you know, that's the exciting part. But if you were to look at the bills that passed as well as uh, positions where we have come together, you know, all the major pieces of legislation in the House has really required bipartisan support in order for it to go on to the Senate and then become law. Whether it's the 2012, uh, the 2011 continuing resolution, this 2012, what you call the mega bus, or even the raising of the debt ceiling. You know, all of those things needed both Democrats and the Republicans to get together because the Democrats and Republicans have people on the, um, the positions are so set that they will not vote for it for different reasons, mm -hmm. but they end up voting no together. Civilbeat.com, uh, our media partners, they did this poll, and, and you know a little bit about that poll because mm -hmm. uh, they asked you some questions about it. But they basically asked people, who do the Congress members work for? Do they work for donors or do they work for the people? And more people said that they work for donors. What did you make of that poll? You know, I, I think that uh, that is a lot of the sentiment. And, and, you know, a lot of the polls are self-executing. In other words, people who respond have very strong opinions about it as well. So I think that that's not a surprise. And it isn't because I think that uh, anyone gives them an indication. But a lot of it is because when the media covers or there is a coverage on a particular topic, it usually sort of supplements and enhances their views of mm -hmm. how negative it is in the in any legislature whether we're the state legislature or in congress that's always the image that's why our approval ratings are unfortunately so low let's talk about former congressman charles deju the tables are now turned you're the incumbent uh... he was the incumbent you defeated him uh... he's now on a military deployment so he's in an unusual situation right now in that he cannot criticize the president what is your campaign doing about charles deju we are we are running on our record and you know I, I I'm sure that everyone in Hawaii along with myself we we hope for his safe return and also those who are in his unit that are serving and I think that that's um, that's not something that we're we're discussing I mean when we when the campaign starts and we hope that the campaign is on issues mm -hmm. and that we can debate those issues as the people of Hawaii deserve it to be debated but for right now our campaign will focus on what I'm able to do in Congress my views and and answer any questions that constituents may have in the past few months you've done some moving and uh, former congressman Charles as you actually brought it up as a campaign issue mm -hmm. that you didn't live in the district so now things have changed for you well it doesn't it, it's sort of ironic because the new reapportionment would have put me in the district anyway mm -hmm. but my promise was to move in the district and yes I am and as I was telling you off camera I'm getting used to, to five minutes to downtown <laughs> and that you know I watch the uh, the traffic jam and everyone and you know, believe me my heart goes out to the people because I know what that's like but I'm thinking you know I'm down here in no time flat I'm wow. sitting in my car you live in Nu'uanu now I live in Nu'uanu okay and you're able to sell your home yes I was able to sell my home and uh, we're very fortunate in this market to be able to do that but uh, it it really became a non-issue but notwithstanding it was a political promise made mm -hmm. and we have to keep those promises and and I wanted to move into the district as well though I would have technically been in the district yeah. sounds a bit strange but <laughs> well congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa thank you so much for joining us this morning thank you for having me and don't forget if you'd like to see this interview again you can head over to the morning section of KITV.com it is 647 we'll be right back